Let's get into this one. The I've I've heard about this video. Okay. And what I've heard about it is that she just it's a whole it's a big lie. I am shocked to hear that she told a big lie. <laughs> it's a half an hour and one minute. Of lies? The truth about my weight loss surgeon and everything else I've been avoiding. Shouldn't that say lying about? <laughs> lying about my lies. Oh, boy. Well, hey guys. We have more bedazzle face. That's that's exciting. Yay. Hey, Coachella Lynn. Welcome Let's go. Welcome to a new video. So today we have a Q&A. So I went on Instagram and had you guys ask me some questions. And I listed off the ones that I answer <coughs> on my MacBook. And I had 31 questions in total after going through hundreds but so many are repeats or things that I've already answered or things that maybe or things that you don't want to answer so things I'm avoiding the things that I'm just asking myself because I don't want to talk about what you want to know for about like an hour the jewels look like zits <laughs> four and a half I had 31 questions and I was like that is such a weird number and I was like let's do 33 I'm 33 years old and threes are a special number in my family so I was like okay that works out perfect ones sevens Threes. What else is in All special? of the numbers are special for Amber. She's very special, and so are numbers. Really try to choose questions that people have been asking a lot of. Oh, Twinkie. And questions that I Twinkie, haven't answered before. Twinkie, I'm happy you're over there, so buddy. So let's get into it because we have 33 oh, questions that I need to answer. Snuggly. First question is, would you do an interview done by the H3 podcast? Oh, of course, of course that's course she first would. question. And she asked herself that. Oh, yeah. For, this one's from somebody named Amber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. I would be extremely nervous though, because I know how Ethan is. He is. Did anybody think for a split second that she would say no? Of course not. She's been, she's been clout chasing H3H3 H3 for years and begging to go on his show. Oh yeah. Every chance she gets. Unbiased. I'm sure that he has heard that Amber wants to go on his show. What would but you... you know what? She wouldn't fly to wherever he's at to go on his show. No. So it doesn't matter. If you want to interview her, he's not going to do a FaceTime interview with her. No. He, she would have to come to his studio and be on the show, and she would never uh, fucking do it. Blackout Vajazalyn Reed. That, 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 that. Yeah, no, he's not going to FaceTime you and, like, hold the phone up to mm -mm. the camera. That's not going to happen. Mm -mm. He has no filter, and it's like, what does he think of me, and what would he say? But I would totally I am very curious. Amber thinks that he is going to fangirl over her. Um, and if I... I think he probably would kiss her ass to not be called fatphobic or something by his brain rot audience. I think he. I think Hassan took most of the brain rot with him, honestly. I, I don't think so. We do it because I love them. Does your mom remember how she found out you were gay? And can she share her version? Slash oh my God. How many times have we heard this exact same thing? Well, didn't, what, didn't the, the snowflake documentary show that her coming out story was stolen from what's her name? Oh, one of her exes. Didn't she supposedly steal her coming oh, out yeah. story? Yeah. I don't remember which one, but I thought she, her coming out story was stolen. I According to the story. So that's actually something that me and my mom have recently Casey's. talked about. She's still Casey's um, story. Because we like to reminisce. We talk about the hard stuff, the fun stuff, like just things that we experienced together as mother and daughter when we were younger. And that is a topic that has come up. And I actually have asked her, I was like, mom, do you want to share your side? Because I've actually gotten people asking this before. She said she would, but she doesn't want to like physically be on camera right now. So I, I had to mute the like her voice or something. But I think that would be fun to like hear the mother side to a coming out story. I think a lot of people could actually use that. I know there are a lot of people watching me who have not. So, so Amber's mom doesn't want to be on camera, but there is a big portrait of her in Amber's living room that she films in front of all the time. Yes. Okay. But I want to I want to hear Mama Lynn's story about Amber eating the meth crumbs. I want to hear that. Yeah, let's let's tell that story. Yeah, I want to hear that story. I, I think it would be funny. I mean, well, Amber would have to what prep mom about the lie that she told about yeah. her coming out story first, so that mom would say Casey's story yes. instead of hers, like her voice or something. But I think that'd be fun to like hear the mother side to a coming out story. I think. A lot of people could actually use that. I know there are a lot of people watching me who have not come out to their parents or just. Okay, I, I am not gay. What? Sh shut up. Um, bad I time to light a cigarette. Shocked by this. I, I'm not gay, but I can't imagine that coming out to your parents now is the same way it was 30 years ago. No, I'm sure it's not. Like it, we we are a new generation of parents. Yes. 
just like anyone in their life in general. And I think that like the more exposure you have of coming out stories can actually make it seem less scary. Where did you get the idea to start wearing diamonds for your- And if you are gonna come out to your parents, don't steal Amber's story. Look at, okay, look, wait, wait, look at this eyeliner. Look, she missed the whole corner. It goes along the lash line and then zoop up in the air and then back down. Why does it do that? It is a roller coaster ride of bad eyeliner. Whee! Like she forgot to fill in this whole section right here. See it? I had to come out as straight to my parents because they thought I was a lesbian when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play volleyball, Baba Yaga? Uh, Violin <laughs> Femme, welcome to the plebs. Thank you. I thought that would be a softball more than anything. Or softball, yeah. Your makeup. Speaking of, today I decided to do... It's <laughs> a Boeing wing. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to fill in half your eyeliner. Amber, look at that it? side. It's like yeah, half the size side, of that one. This side she forgot to fill in the middle part, and that side she forgot to fill in the end part. Two here, and then one here on each side. I'm just like obsessed. Honestly, Coachella I didn't Lynn. get the idea from anywhere. I just remember I was doing my makeup. This was a couple weeks ago, and I was like, how can I switch this up? Because the only way I ever switch up my makeup is like the length or the thickness of my winged eyeliner. And I was like, I want to do something different. I'm not really an eyeshadow girly. I have eyeshadows, but it's just, it's never really been my thing. And then I like to wear glitter in the corner of my eye. I played rugby for four years. I still have to fight off the lesbian <laughs> allegations. A lot. I didn't do that today though. So that's like another thing that I do. And um, I actually recently started that just like a few months ago. So I was like, what else can I do to elevate my look? And I was like, you know what? Diamonds. I personally love it because I think it's beautiful, but not only that, but like you can do it however you want. So it's always going to be a different look because honestly, I'm never going to stop my winged eyeliner. I feel like it suits me. I completely zoned out for like 30 seconds. What is she even talking about? Um, how unique and quirky she is because she has Coachella diamonds on her face. Thank it's you. literally me. You guys love it. I She's love it. She's starting a new Have trend. Have you considered cutting your hair shorter to help it recover? No. So no, my whole personality is having long hair, and that's how I get a girlfriend. The answer is no. Mm. Oh, yes. But gonna dive into hell in a bit. You gonna be around later, Sam? Not the way that some of you suggest. Some of you are like, go up to here to your shoulder. Never gonna happen. But as I sit here, you guys don't even know it, but as I sit here, my hair is actually quite shorter than it was literally just two. We only got 50 more likes after that, or 15 more likes. Guys, smash that like button. What are you doing? Come on two hours ago. So I cut my own hair and it already feels so much better. Not only that, but I haven't used heat on my hair. I she also gave herself a trim and I guarantee it was no more than like an inch. different shampoo and conditioner and I just, this. I notice already how much better my hair looks. I could see right here, it's starting to thin out. Yeah, that's oh. where it starts to get bad. Like she needs to cut it to her boob, but so I bet I'm she cut a, an inch off probably. with the scissors in the bathroom. my hair from my last vlog and then I'm showing you my hair today. Where oh wow! Oh, she did. It. She did okay. Okay, that's close to where it should be. That's no, it's not better. Perfect, but it just looks and feels so. It does not. It, it's better. It looks like mismatched drape hangings. Yeah, she probably should go and actually get it cut straight across because I bet in the back behind her it probably looks all janky. Much yeah. healthier. I am very glad that I decided to take a pair of kitchen scissors and just chop, 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 chop. How do you manage your mental? <laughs> Baba says that hair is botched AF. Help yeah. with all of the hate that you get. So honestly, the best way I can describe this is like, say there is just this invisible layer between me and the hate that I receive. Nine times out of 10, 99% of my life with all of the hate that I do consume, it doesn't pass that layer. And I think with time- okay. huh? Do you have to keep, hold on. I, what, uh, what? I got, hold on. I'm confused. You manage your mental health with all of the hate that you get. So honestly, the best way I can describe this is like, Say there is just this invisible layer between me and the hate that I receive. Nine times out of 10, 99% of my life, with all of the hate that I do consume, it doesn't pass that layer. And Why are you yeah. consuming it? Why are you watching haters, Amber? That doesn't seem mental health at all. <sighs> okay. And I think with time, that layer has gotten thicker, it has gotten stronger, because I used to not handle the hate like I handle it now. Sometimes the hate can pass through it, but it's very, very rare. And not only that, I try not to put myself in situations where I see the hate. I purposely don't go into my comment section because that is the brutalist place I can go. There's reddits about me, don't go on there. Uh, gosh, there's like other places and other forums you can go to. I don't go to any of those places. That's the, one of the biggest reasons why I don't even have a Twitter anymore. It's kind of like out of- Didn't what's her name say that she was obsessed with reading about herself on the Kiwi Farms? 
Yeah. I, I have a hard time believing that she never looks at this stuff. Sight out of mind. I'm sure if I consumed hate about myself on a day-to-day -day basis, it would reach through those layers that I have in front of me. Um, you do nothing else, Amber. You do nothing. Liar, liar, plants for hire with the Streamlabs link. Thank you. Well, we're about 5% of the way there. But I don't consume hate about me. You guys message me in private and you guys are fucking amazing. You guys are honestly so freaking sweet to me and so kind. And it's like, that's the stuff that I'm always thinking about. That's that's the type of people that I imagine. Yeah, it does not watch reaction channels, has a full minute of reaction channel in her last video. ...who are watching me. Ever get discouraged from losing weight because of your diagnosis of a lipedema? Since lipedema is not curable and it cannot go away, yes, I do get discouraged because I... Hold on. I'm just going to do a quick Google, Google search here. Can lipedema be lessened? Uh, lipedema... Um, eh? Lipedema? Uh, maintaining a healthy weight can help reduce the amount of non-lymphatic, lympho, lymphomic fat. Yes, it can be reduced, is the answer. It absolutely can be. I know that there is a large portion of my body that will not go away with weight loss, and that's hard for me to absorb, hard for me to accept, hard for me to... Uh one more time. Encouraged because I know that there is a large portion of my body that will not go away with weight loss. And uh, right here, treatment for lipedema changes to your diet. Maintaining a healthy weight helps reduce the amount of non lipodemic fat and will reduce inflammation. Anti inflammatory diet may help too. Calorie reduction diets are not likely to affect it. So, yes, it can change. It absolutely can, but she just doesn't want to. That's hard for me to absorb, hard for me to accept, hard for me to process. I will always have like a disfigured body. I'll never have the body that I want, but I'm also so far past that like vein. Oh, I just want to look better. It's, it's all about health. It's all about the- It's, it should be about living. Lipedema, lapedema, lovedema. The fact that I do not want to- It should be about living. Yeah, I oh, it do, it won't go away if I lose weight, so I'm not even going to try actually, but it will. She doesn't want to die. So, yeah, having that fear and feeling those discouragement feelings, all of that is no Okay, let's put this in perspective. How long if you had a guess? How long do you think foodie is for this world? Year at most? Less than 5. I'd say one year at most. Sadly, that's probably true, but I, I would hope maybe five years. But I, I know like all of these fat positive people on social media are all dying very early. Oh, God, all yeah. of them. Like every other month, another fat influencer is just having a heart attack. So one I, and a half if lucky, two, 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 two. It's one morbid. And a half, I don't half. want to think about it. I don't I, want either one of these girls to die. I want them to get their shit together. We'll say two years. We'll say two years. Now, keep in mind, up until about six months ago, Foodie was in the 300s. Yeah. Amber has been in the 500s for the better part of 10 years. Oh, yeah. How much more of a tax do you think that is on her body? than it is on foodies. Yeah. And she is almost 10 years younger. Mm-hmm. That's true. You think she'll make it to foodie age? I hope so. Do you think she will? I, I, I hope so. I hope that they will both get their shit together. No more stronger than, like, the fact that I want to live. That feeling is so much stronger than all the other stuff. But I'm only human. And, oh, you we got have, her to rage about the hamster cage, Ruthie. We have seen Amber eating just eggs and just healthy food and snacks for her to eat in a day. So maybe if she actually changes her habits, she can get her shit together. Hi to sexy Shelly. Hi. And oh, hey, Sin. I love you, Liz. Hmm. I don't even feel the need to read the rest of that, actually. No, I think you should read it. Uh, I hope you're both having a great day.
Not really interested in ALR, but always tune into my favorite creators. Why is this Shri Buff on fire? That's the McKinley thing. Are we watching... Are we burning witches again? Are we in Old Salem? <laughs> no, that's uh, McKinley. If you hit the 500, you get that one. Dragon Ball God, you get the blue for Evolved. You get this one if you hit the 100. It's all different things. Oh, it's it's Dragon Ball references. Oh, there I'm you shocked go. to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, I feel discouraged by this diagnosis. So the next question kind of goes into... Like but you don't have to dis be <clears throat> discouraged. It can be treated and lessened. It's yes. not going to be cured. Like what I was talking about, what is currently motivating you to lose weight. And it's pretty simple. It's like, I don't want any more health complications due to my weight. And I do not want to die anytime soon. Like, I want to live for at least another 40 years. And I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> Sam. Um, because people my size, we don't live that long. What is your next? No, you, you don't. don't. You, you got to get it together you if to you want to not have that issue. The, the weight loss surgery was on the table. And she just walked away from it. Yeah. Oh, wait, since you have reached like that was her chance to live 40 more years mm -hmm. and she was just like eh, eh, it's gonna be hard work never mind recent goal of 499 pounds i think my next one is 469 because from my remembrance that is the lowest i mispronounce is the wrong word okay. remember weighing we are sitting on the precipice of a triple bingo right now Ooh in a very long time years probably like seven years maybe more uh when i get there that'll be really exciting for me how often do you listen to music so i listen to music every single day i would say, this is full-on delusion say for hours maybe like two to three hours a day maybe more it depends on what i'm doing oh baron and bankrupt said so why did she turn down wls because she didn't feel like it yeah she just didn't want to do the work so it was it was going to be hard and she decided never mind i am cleaning I'll listen to music when I'm showering. Just whenever there's like a time where I'm doing something and I want like noise, it's either that or YouTube. Do you still enjoy doing YouTube? Yes, I love everything about my side of YouTube when it comes to- This is a great job. It just is. Yeah. To filming, editing. She'll tell us in this Q and A why. Oh boy! Uploading. Oh, I enjoy the whole process. I think it's really fun. I've always loved it. I love how I was. If able she to turn loves it so much, into a job. Why does she spend maybe two minutes a day doing it? You would think. You it would might think be, uh... she would do it more often than maybe twelve minutes a week. Uh, thanks, folks. I'm behind on ALR. Um, error. Uh huh. That that will catch you up. Face diamonds. Hair. Face diamonds. That's uh, about it. Wifey. Wifey left her, and now she's a lonely girl. The, she she's turned into one of those like TV shows that you could just jump in at any episode, right? And, and, and you don't need the context anymore. <laughs> you don't anymore. need to know what happened because it's just the same thing as always. Yeah. Into something that makes it to where. I have a roof over my head every single day and every single day I am thankful for you guys. So thank you so much for that and for letting me do something that I thoroughly love doing and I will forever love it. I really truly believe that. I understand why a lot of people might think I don't enjoy it anymore because I don't upload as much as I used to. The reason for that has nothing to do with like enjoyment or if I actually like YouTube still. So no worries. I still love it. And I Liz Lucas, she probably appreciates the flirting. I'm here to say, what's your relationship yeah. with your dad like? Yeah, I, I actively yeah, I do not mind, have a relationship with him, and I haven't had <laughs> one in. Oh, what was that? Or if I actually like YouTube still. So no worries. I still love it. And I am here to stay. What's your relationship with your dad like? I actively do not have a relationship with him, and I haven't had one in a very, very long time. Wasn't she just talking about talking to him like a couple of months ago? I mean, talking to him on the phone isn't really a relationship, though. But she was talking about, and she was like crying over it. Yeah, she it. was crying because she talked to him on the phone. That was not long before she moved, I think. But yeah, that uh, that doesn't constitute a relationship just because she I talked to him for, on the phone for the first time in years. So the 33 years that I have been alive, I think I have only had a true relationship with him for maybe a year of my life, and that was when I was around like 11. I was living in an all-girls group home, and I think at the time. This story changes so much. Does she just not remember? Or is it just that it's all made up? That's the question. Like, if I had to, if I had some memory in my childhood, I'd be like, oh, this happened when I was 11, and then I would think, well, maybe it happened when I was 15. I don't fucking know. It, it happened sometime in my childhood. 
Yeah. Because I, I just don't remember anything. But is it that she just doesn't remember? And she says she was in the group home when she was six, and she was in the group when she was 12, and she was in the group home when she was 32. Like, I don't know. Does she just not remember? She's just making it. I. That's a great question, because <laughs> I, the, the age has changed it changes so many times. Time. It changes all the time. My dad was doing really well in his sobriety, and he would come visit me. And I lived actually in Upper Lake, California at the time. So... My dad, he would rent out boats and we would go on the boat and we would go fishing. And those are the memories, <laughs> sorry, whoa, okay. Those are the memories that um, I I like to remember. <laughs> Joke's on us, she's been in a group home this entire time. <laughs> I'll probably never have a relationship with him again. And that's due to my choice. Do you hear her clicking her nails? Yes. But it's also due to the fact that he just doesn't even try. He is still in his addiction. You are a grown ass adult. You have a phone. They work both ways. That's true. And you know why I don't have a relationship with my dad? Because I choose not to. Yeah. It's not his fault. I am actively making that choice as an adult that I don't want to be involved. Mm -hmm. I'm not sitting here crying because it's not. Right. And she could rent a boat and take her dad out fishing. Yeah. She could do that if she wanted Apparently to. Apparently he had a leg amputated so he could be the fire. Oh, oh my God. Dad and <laughs> he has a lot of health problems and he's going through a lot and I love it. Yeah, she's doing a lot of shade throwing for somebody who ate herself to 600 pounds. Right. My dad, very much. I love him unconditionally. I love him with all of me. But I just know that me having a relationship with him would do more harm than good. And that's just reality. Would you recommend... Oz that's fair enough, Bethany. The reason I'll have a relationship with my dad is because he's dead. <laughs> that's a reason. Yeah, that, I mean, you can get a Luigi board. You could get a Luigi board. A Luigi board. Luigi. Hey, Fostonia. So I think that if you have a large amount of weight to lose... And you're obviously under doctor's supervision and they think it's the right thing for you to do. And now you're just sitting there like, mm. oh, my God, I did unbidden. The you, you, you donation just popped up. <laughs> hmm, should I do this? I would say yes. Give it a try. See how your body reacts. Her love seems pretty conditional. It really does. It, But it's like that for everybody in her life. Yeah. It's just if you are useful to her, then she loves you. Not... Right. I'm not reading that moon face. I know for me, I had some unpleasant symptoms, but ultimately in the end, I'm willing to even try it again. So if you're debating, I'd say try it. Ozempic has saved a lot of people's lives and it has made a lot of people lose weight. And I feel Didn't like it's really refuse important Ozempic? for health reasons. Oh, so, she pretended that it hurt her gallbladder. Oh yeah, it gave her greasy poops. Yeah. So this kind of goes in to the last question. Why are you open to Ozempic again, even if it can mess with your gallbladder? Because rapid weight loss, yo-yo dieting, losing a large amount of weight, all of that messes with your gallbladder regardless. And I'm the queen of yo-yo dieting, you guys. So I just need to stay fat. Couldn't she just get her gallbladder removed if it's got problems? Like, don't they remove gallbladders for people all the time who have gallbladder problems? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a common thing to get removed. I'm not that kind of doctor. I think she could just do that. I want to lose a large chunk of weight. So it's like my gallbladder has had issues in the past. Did you hear that weird noise? It's already due to the yo-yo diet. I want to lose a large chunk of weight. So it's like my gallbladder has had issues in the past already oh, due to the yo-yo dieting and to the weight loss. So it's like, what's the- There's a ghost blowing in my ear. That's what it sounded like. Random background noise. Another thing, if I'm being supervised by a doctor and they're like, you know what, it's fine. I think your gallbladder will be fine. Then I'm going to do it. I'm not going to not lose weight. Just be <laughs> will it hurt baby top of its head because of my gallbladder. Do you think living in Oklahoma will allow you to grow or no? Oh, absolutely. Because it has already allowed me to grow. This is the most independent I have. You've gone to bingo. She needs to just go out. Just go out, girl. You are a single adult woman living alone in a big city just go out get on a bus take an uber go downtown meet people have fun you don't have kids you don't have to go hang out with mom and grandma only you don't care about your pets right just go go out go leave for a week who cares <laughs> i've ever been in my whole entire life i feel my mental health improving i feel my emotional health improving i feel my physical health i am losing weight I am independent. Yes, I don't drive. A lot of people don't, though. You can be an independent person and still not drive. So, yes, I... Yeah, you can take an Uber. You can afford Uber. Go get one. Go yeah, somewhere. I don't think, like... A Look at Twinkie. 
I'm already growing and as tongue. a person, like living on my own. Question for what me is, what like, <laughs> are you doing, Twinkie Lizard? <laughs> you to grow as a person here, or am I eventually going to want to move on and go somewhere else? I don't know. What's one thing people rag you about online that you feel bad about? So by rag me, I'm assuming the person meant like something that people like constantly bring up. And the first thing I think of is just like my ignorance with like certain words that I've used years and years ago. Like I'm. <laughs> it's on look at that face it's on the bingo look at that face <laughs> there's your thumbnail that's the thumbnail right there there's your thumbnail uh cat noises where, I, where are my cats if have you threatened to call the kitties? cops no have we had a fart on you uh -uh. your mic no new stream boss no perfectly timed dono no neighbor shenanery uh uh club no okay have i read You've been reading. Uh, have you been captain? Nope. Oh? Nope. Movie reference. Not yet, surprisingly. I know. I'm talking over seven years ago. Since then, I have apologized and learned, owned up for my mistakes. And I think that's literally the only thing you can oh, do. Oh, she's talking about her accident or racism or something? Is that what it is? I'm sorry. Was that English? It's, she's she's not saying she mispronounces wrong words. She, she said things she shouldn't have said. So did she like accidental racism at one time? Is that what she's talking about? I have no clue, babe. And nothing says I'm a grown, independent person quite like mommy driving you to bingo and making her buy you peeny babies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. His <laughs> Shelly is bidening. I Indeed. Was. I just was. Learn and grow from that. Do you think the therapy you did for weight loss surgery helped you? Because as a viewer of eight years, I have noticed a huge positive change in you. Maddie, well, congratulations you on your baby. Lots me. I also noticed it as well. But I think that the therapy definitely helped. It helped a lot because- Maddie had a baby, babe. Who? Maddie, she had a baby. Maddie? What? Yeah, stupid. I am, I don't see anything about a baby. I think my sense making oh, just Gosh. had my baby. Very, uh, you just scrolled out of the thing. She's no longer pregante. You're not pregnant. She's ma mamante now. <laughs> mamante. I think that might be the first time in my whole life, and I've done a lot of therapy in my life, but that is the first time in my whole life that I have ever seen one psychologist for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks on end. Oh, and Mama Kimmons, maybe that's like, it when she said, I'm such a blackie. journey was just like meant to happen <laughs> for that very reason, because it's like, I've learned so much about myself and there were so many like situations from my past, especially like in my childhood, where it's like, if I would even think about it, like instantly tears. And now it's like, I can talk maturely and clearly about those situations splinter? where here, it's like, I'm okay. Here, let me get and it for you. Here. Hold on, I gotta get a splinter. I think you got it already. I think it's just a scab. Uh. It's no, it's no splinter in there, babe. Scab. Huh? No splinter in there. It's just a scab. Oh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled out a splinter like an inch long from in there the other day. Here and I'm well. Sorry, I, I've... breaking programming. I, I had to pick a invisible Feel myself. splinter. <laughs> healing from things that I never ever thought that I would and getting diagnosed with PTSD and also BPD. It opened my eyes a tremendously. ASMR. It's like things that OBCD. I used to not be aware of, I'm now aware of. And I have no idea what she's talking about. I am blah, 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 blah. And I'm able to like rationally be like, okay, so this is the reason you're this way. Now it's your choice to like find that rational side of you, take a deep breath, calm down and do the right thing. So this kind of goes with my, the last what? question. She's she's talking about how she needs a therapist. Oh, okay. I think, and basically that's what I, I get from this, is she needs a therapist. But it's because of the answer that I am going to give. The question is, what is the worst habit that you do when you're in love with someone? So not only do I have BPD, smother them. but I have massive, massive anxious attachment issues. Like, it is so freaking bad. But when I'm in love with someone, they become my everything. And I know it's because of the BPD. Yeah, have you ever right considered that that's right not... to jail right away? Right yeah. to jail, right that's to jail, jail. right away. Right. Oh boy, hold on. Uh oh, I like big butts and I cannot lie. Oh boy, but Amber's is way uh, oh boy. Uh, waddles with the triple chin and the f fupa. <laughs> uh, I sincerely apologize for this. I apologize that I cannot read that out. <laughs> 
Uh, the effort was there. Good so, job. If, you go ahead and read that. Hold on. Wait, I can read it? Yeah, Not out loud. Just read it. Um, um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Preacher Bill. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? I cannot. <laughs> That was goddamn good, though. That was so good. PD, I know it's because of the anxious attachment. So it gets so bad, it's to the point where it's like my emotions, my feelings, my thoughts. This is what you should talk to a therapist about. Yeah. It's the way my day goes, et cetera, et cetera, is all based on the way that they are treating me. One small. You did say you were sorry, and I appreciate that. Words can literally feel like the end of the world to me. I never understood why. I always thought I was just dramatic. That's what I was called you right, know, hold on, life in, in relationships. You are dramatic. Like, you're dramatic. Why, why are you, you are. so irrational? Why do you act this way? Like, you're just being crazy. Like, hearing those things constantly, it's just like, yeah, that's how I felt. Like, I'm just being dramatic. I'm just okay. drama queen. But have you and learned anything like, no, or are you also going to smother your next girlfriend? Do you think she learned anything? Are you going to just do the same thing to your next ex-girlfriend? Future ex-girlfriend? <laughs> your next ex-girlfriend. Wow. I mean, that's what it is. She smothers them. She takes their personality. She becomes them in some kind of weird body double thing. And she just smothers them. Makes them sleep in the bed with her after they break up. Like, she just does weird shit to her ex-girlfriends. It is very weird. She acknowledges that she's doing bad things. But is she going to change it? No. It's not bad enough to change. No. Livy, I sent it to you. Then it's like, wow, I have BPD. That's why I'm doing this. Like, I Hello to my future ex-girlfriend. Miss Sin's my ex-girlfriend. That's true. I know this isn't normal. I know this isn't rational. Uh, oh, they were shenanigans. I know those motherfuckers are going to start shenanigans. Well, having that answer has helped me so <laughs> Livy. <laughs> much. Like, you guys have no idea you how it empowering mm -hmm. it is to have an answer. I might actually give an example. So say someone I'm in a relationship with. Oh, we're doing imaginary time with, with Coachella Lynn. Usually messages me every morning at 9 a.m. and says good morning to me. That's something I'm used to. That's something that I expect. So if it comes 9.30, I start to think they hate me. They want nothing to do with me. They're you are a grown-ass woman. These are teenager problems. I... These aren't even teenager problems. Like, I could see my my thirteen year old upset that her boyfriend didn't text her at nine thirty. Like this is the thing that teenagers get upset about and argue with their boyfriends or girlfriends over. Yes. Not adults. No. They're cheating. <sighs> Miss and I went like a week without talking. Yeah. <laughs> Me. That's where my brain goes. And ninety percent of our communication is with grunts. <laughs> automatically I'm not gonna lie. It would probably start happening around nine oh three a.m. So then what that would cause me to do is text them. Why haven't you talked to me? Is everything okay? Like smothering. This, you smother. This is what happens when your entire personality and your entire being is based off of somebody else. Yep. You have nothing for yourself. No. Literally nothing. Nothing. Like Miss Sin and I live together. Mm -hmm. We spend our lives together. Damn near every night we go to bed together. Mm -hmm. But we have our own lives. Yeah. We both work. We both do stuff around the house. Miss Sin has her uh, arts and crafts to, that she likes to do. I do. I, like I get. Arts I get her crafts. some safety scissors and a <laughs> marker and just <laughs> set her off. <laughs> I put her in a little playpen in the living room. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh-oh. You're in charge for a second. Oh, I am the captain now. All right, let's watch this video without him. He's a big liar. Multiple, multiple texts. Because not only is that my BPD being, like, triggered, but it's also my anxious attachment. So did you just answer a spam call? But yes. Now that I have the Why do you even bother? Like, if you don't know the number, don't answer the I'm phone. I'm expecting a call. From my insurance guy. It'll probably say blah, blah, blah insurance on the thing, not random foreign number that you don't know. It, that wasn't a foreign number. That was my area code. Yeah, that's what scammers use now. Mm, Just don't answer it. Fuckers. Mrs. Sin have a big enough enclosure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My wheel is too small. <laughs> you don't run. <laughs> uh, Miss Sin has his tool. I, okay, so 
I, I gotta be careful how I tell the story. Miss Sin was trying to figure out the area of something. <laughs> And it was uh, 20 feet by, like, 8 feet. And she's like, I, I did 20 and 20, then 8 and 8. <laughs> and I'm out. like, it's, it's like around 50 square feet, right? <laughs> I'm like, no, you're not, even, you're not even a little bit close. <laughs> oh, it, I, I, it, I mathed. She, I, I mathed she girl very mathed. well. She girl mathed very hard. <laughs> it's Miss Cindy. Is she building a nest under the couch? <laughs> me too, Shelly. My boyfriend sends me away with my markers while he plays PlayStation. <laughs> Whenever I get another PlayStation, I'm going to do that to you. Okay. Being, like, triggered, but it's also my... I like my arts and crafts. Being triggered. But now that I have the answers... You're making some... You're going to be making uh, some of the Knights of the Awu stuff with that cricket. I am. Good crafts. Good crafts. Where in the past, if I did that, that would just be me being dramatic i'm a crazy girlfriend like what the heck are you doing now it's like no that is exactly yeah, that's, what you're that's doing. what you're being a crazy girlfriend if you know that you have a mental issue and you're taking it out on your partner you need to figure that shit out and, and maybe get on medication maybe talk to a therapist maybe maybe like if that was good crafts bad math yes to happen, i would send <laughs> she texted that to me i'm like yeah no that's girl math <laughs> you're doing girl math she's like well i'll do the decorating, you do the actual working. I was like, okay, good. And the math. I said, perfect. Teamwork. One text. You okay, babe? You know, a simple you okay? Yes, I'd still be like on the inside having a little bit of anxiety. Like, oh my God, what's happening? Because I can't change those things. I think when this is all done, I think you guys are really going to like this project. I think I'm going to make videos. Maybe. I want to make videos. Maybe. It's about myself right now. That's going to... No, it was eight feet, not 18 feet. That's gonna come with time, that's gonna come with therapy, that's gonna come with help. But the fact that I'm able to stare the same situation in the face, whereas it happening three years ago and I freaked the F out, or it happening now, and I'm like, that's a good, okay that's a good phrase, Susan. Arts and crafts is childish. We create beauty that inspires. You, we the, live, laugh, love, dance. The that's stuff, what we do. the stuff you're making is gorgeous. I make and nice things. It will be. People will like the things I made. Oh, they will love what you're doing with the Knights of the Awu package. We yeah. only have one now, but yeah. we could have a few. I thoroughly feel like my psychologist from Kentucky changed my life. Like, because I'm able to It see wasn't on the phone psychologist. You can still talk to that person. You weren't seeing them in, in real life. It no. was a video call. So different than I was prior to the diagnosis. What the fuck? Does she have a zoo in her background? Sounds like a... Is that? Is that our house? I think that's our zoo. Sounds like a bunch of bug budgies. I think that's that's coming from our house. I don't know what it is. No, sis. Trust me. I, I miss the comic club packages. Well, um, we're gonna think about that too. We're gonna work on this. I I got set. I I had one ready. Uh, put together in my head, ready to get ordered in May, but things got a little uh, hectic here. And what the fuck is that? It's gotta be the TV. I will go find out what the kids are doing. I I, I got a a little poor. I I had to drain every dollar I had, and I'm still recovering from that. So soon, yes, it, it's something that we're gonna work on when things get a little leveled out. I know it can be exhausting for... It's not even that. It's just the funeral literally tapped me out. For someone to be with someone like that. 100% agree. But it's also exhausting for me. It's very exhausting. Um, but I try my very hardest to be upfront with the person that I'm interested in. Like, these are my issues. <laughs> this is sometimes how I react to certain situations. I just feel like it's very important to have open communication um, around anything in a relationship, but especially mental health and the way that you react as a person. How many times have you ordered takeout in March and what was it? So... Today's okay with that noise is. Mm. It's all quiet in the downstairs. It's March 12th, and I've only ordered takeout three times. So I'm actually. Shelly would love what I'm making with my sublimation stuff. I would love to be able to make sublimation stuff. What that? I need a special printer. What is it? It's uh, like those Dragon Ball cups that you got. Like you can print out a thing and then put it on cups and put it on stuff. Like that's how that was made. Oh. I would like to be able to make those things, but you're very printer. proud of that. Like round of applause. I want to get a 3D I mean, this is coming printer. from a really pop who would order cool takeout. They're like three hundred something dollars. So, so it's, it's a sublimation they're, printer. They're down a lot, but <laughs> it's just way out of my fucking. 
Yeah, that's oh. nothing that we need. It's just a want. A big want. <laughs> Miss Sin has a cricket. I do have cricket. So I, I got that for Christmas. That. What I love my show cricket. did you audition for last year? So I am friends with someone from A Thousand Pound Best Friends, and we... Can we just say this is a whole ass lie? thought it would be a good idea. <laughs> and Bidenomics with a link to my slabs. Trust me, man, I could super use it. For me to be on that show. So she talked to the producers, and they're like, you know what? Let's give her an interview. So Dirt Merchant, I'm doing that thing where I tap the side of my nose and I point at you. I had an interview. Feline was my girlfriend at the time, and she was 100% supportive. We knew that we were going to have to actually move to a different state to be a part of that show. And we were both willing to do it. We were willing and ready. I did the interview. It actually went amazing. But I never heard back from them. And I'm not going to lie to you. This happens a lot. <laughs> They're probably like, this girl's a big lie. For a few weight loss shows. And it all probably like all she does is sit around. This will not make good television. Right. Always goes really good. They like hype me up and they make me feel really good, but they never call me back. They never even She's tell me. So Sorry, desperate to be on TV. I didn't choose you. It's just like there's nothing. So it would have been an amazing experience. I would have absolutely loved it. Um, because the girl I'm friends with from that show, I don't want to like say her name because I don't know how she would feel about that. I'm sure she wouldn't care, but like, y'all, you know me, I'm afraid. Like the doc scene, I might say the wrong thing. Like, I have become more private on my channel. I do want to get better with that. Okay, foodie. See, I feel like any TV show who had Amberlynn audition, she would talk about her YouTube, and then they would go and look her up. Mm -hmm. And they would find out, like, the amount of negativity that surrounds her because of her personality, and they'd be like, eh, let's, let's not. Yeah. Let's not bring that negativity to our network television show. Exactly. It's that never going to happen for more, But it's hard to balance, like... And it's her own fault. It's not haters because she's fat, because there's all kinds of fat people on the internet yeah, and on it's TV It's haters who because she lies haters. about everything. It's the lies. It's the lies, and it's the treating people and animals poorly. And it's, it's just stuck with false, her. It's never going to go away. False accusations, mm -hmm. all the, like, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff, and she gets hate for a reason, and no network's gonna want to associate with it. What am I allowed to say versus what am I not allowed to say? I don't want anyone mad at me, so, but yeah, it was a thousand pound best friends, and I don't know, it just would have been, it would have been great. Like, I, I really, the doc scene, I might say the wrong thing. What? Like, I have mm -hmm. become more private on my channel. I do want to get better with that and start sharing more, but it's hard to- I think that's a part of it too, weenie, is she can't control the narrative that's on the show. Yes balance like what am i allowed to say versus what am i not allowed to say i don't want anyone mad at me so but yeah it was a thousand pound best friends and i don't know it just would have been it would have been great like i i really do feel that do you consider yourself a sexual person oh absolutely absolutely i would oh, consider absolutely I'm, I'm very sorry. sexual person. lady oh absolutely absolutely I would that's a good question susan who the fuck would her giant best friend be a good She's, she was making fake friendship. Well, somebody who's on the show now. I didn't even know Thousand Pound Best Friends was a show, but apparently someone who's on the show, she wanted to go on it with them, and then they had her pick a different fat person to be on with to pretend they were best friends. I want to know who's asking her if she's a sexual person. Herself. Is this I Totally Have Sex Guys? Mm-hmm. That's what this is. Long with I Totally Showered Today. I would consider myself to actually be a very sexual person, especially... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Like if we vibe in that way, like sex every day, um, I'm a daily sex type of girly pop. So no, you are not, girl. Bye. You are <laughs> a put hickeys on me so I can show them on YouTube. Kind of girly look, pop. Shut up. Look at th this is the face of a truther. Uh huh. This is an honest to god truther. Yep. A uh, Shelly, would you like a handmade journal? That sounds very pretty, but I would honestly probably never write in it because I'm not a journal kind of girly pop. Uh, I've never wrote a journal ever. That's true. I would like to look at it, but I would probably <laughs> not use it, so it would be wasted on me. I don't want you to waste your talent. Uh, we have 460 people watching right now and 200 likes. That does not math. That doesn't math. So guys, please smash that like button. Pretty please share it out. And if you feel like supporting the show and all of our endeavors and projects and stuff, we have a massive one that we're working on right now. We do. Uh, that we do. Literal massive one. <laughs> it's, 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 it's small, but it's big. It, it's For a, us, it's big. It's a big project. It's a big project. <laughs> you guys want to help with that? All that stuff is down below. Um, I have gotten the final figure in for that video so i'll record that sometime in the next year 
<laughs> <laughs> nah, hopefully in the next month I'll have that recorded. Um, anything, all the projects we're working on, even if you just want to show support, everything's down below. We have a ton of great donations and a new uh, large tier package. Mew, I believe I'm saying that right for 777. A 3D printer is a good investment since you can make... Yes, that is exactly why I want it. <laughs> yeah. That that's is, exactly why. That is exactly why. We're making toys. And uh, if anybody is con confused, go check out uh, PSR. Okay. Do you have a current love life? So I actually do have a current love life. And oh, yes. With Sex every Valentine. day. There was a phase where I was talking to multiple people at once, and my feelings grew here and there, and this. Imagine falling in love with somebody over text message. Multiple people. I mean, you it's not impossible, but... I mean, it's a thing that could happen after some time. Not in a week, like it is for Amber. For Amber, it's, it's <laughs> they talk to me for three days in a row, and now I'm in love. And then she scares the person away because no one else is a 13-year-old uh -huh. who is going to say, I'm in love with you five days after texting someone. But Amber will, and then be surprised Pikachu when they ghost her. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, do the HK slap. Exactly. <clears throat> that, and I just realized that like talking to multiple people at once is not me. It never has been. I never... You do it all the time, but it's not good for you. You just make yourself sad. Johannesburg just had their J.P. Morgan corporate challenge. What is that? I don't know what that means. Did anything like that before. But it's like, people are like, you know, you're single, try it out, talk to different people. <laughs> Live, laugh, love that for her. And I did. I experienced it. Great. It's just not for me. So my Valentine is the only person that I'm interested in and the only person. Yes, that is brags about friends. So the Valentine now, shizzle. all of a sudden, is the only person she's interested in. But last time she had three crushes. There were three girls she was super interested in. She... So, I mean, uh, two of them probably were like, okay, I'm done. She has done literally, talking to you. literally cheated on all of her girlfriends. Yeah. She can't even have a texting relationship with someone without telling the world that she's in love with multiple people. She needs all of the attention. Mm -hmm. That I want to be interested in and that I will be interested in. So, yeah. And that's why she's Going here on her, her channel, smirking about an imaginary love life with her hairbrush with her Coachella diamonds on because she's fishing for a new girlfriend mm -hmm. talking about how, oh, we're going to have sex every day. Shut up. Shut up. What five things would you want your partner to be like? I'll name some things like obviously like trustworthy and loyal. I want someone who's loving and affectionate like with their words and physical touch. I want someone who's obsessed with me like me. Then they have to text me every day by 9 a.m. or I'm going to accuse them of cheating on me. That's weird. I want somebody obsessed with me. It's because she gets obsessed with people. Amber, be an adult, please. That's so weird. It's weird. Mutual obsession is definitely green flag coded for sure. And I want someone who's like... No, it's not. That's not. Right, what, I... Mutual like obsession. Words and physical touch. I want someone who's obsessed with me. Like, mutual obsession is definitely green flag coded for sure. And no, that's... What's that? That's red flag. That is big red flags, girl. That is super red flag. Yeah. That is the reddest flag. That is many red flags. Yeah. That's more red flags than FFG calling you going, he stabbed a motherfucker. <laughs> He's, he two stabbed motherfuckers. <laughs> I want someone who's like weird and funny and quirky and silly because that is very much me. And I oh, are you? I'm weird and funny and quirky and silly. You're boring, Amber. You're boring. Boring. You you're boring. I'm and you, you trick people with this fake personality when you're single. And then you get them in your house and then you tell them we're never going outside again. Shit, man. I wasn't even paying attention. We have a whole ass Iwoo train happening right now. Oh, we do. We do. Look at that. Talk to chat for just a moment. I chat. Comrade parade. Red flag. <laughs> oh, coded. Right. Yeah. Coded does not fit there. That is not how you use coded. But she wants to be like the, the Gen Zers and she just can't do it. Very strange. I posted my latest Prince uh, photos in Discord under the Broomstick channel. All right. I'll take a look and be weird with you and i just love that like someone with a good sense of humor who is your favorite ex 
I'm gonna say Feline. Is wifey number one mm, the same boy. as wifey number two? Wifey number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Would I like a pair of earrings? Spoony nerd, I like earrings, but I cannot wear them because I have zero gauge ear holes, so I can only wear the same thing every day. I am. Um... But thank you for thinking of me. Mm, am I stupid? I don't see my. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, would y'all look at that? I think that's pretty. How long did that take to print? Did did you print the bra ba brace? It's print pretty. the base. Brace. Print the brace. Did you print the brace? To the HK slap. Are all the same person. Has Nikocado Avocado apologized yet for implying you lied about having cancer? No, Ooh. he hasn't. Uh, he, how, how he, long? Didn't, he didn't say that. How long did that take you to print? You took you 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 took him eating a crab as in implying that. He didn't technically come out and say that you lied about cancer. <coughs> Was that a sin squeak? Yes. <laughs> I don't think he needs to apologize for you taking something out of context, possibly. He did not come out and say that. He did not. He has nothing to apologize for. She's just a narcissist. She says that about her pets too. They're obsessed with me. She does. That's because true, everybody does. everybody needs to be obsessed with her. Right, the cat wanting pet is oh, this cat's obsessed with me. It, by the way, th there's a whole secret conversation happening right now between this, me and some people in the I chat. I see it. I see what y'all are doing. And if we could just get the uh, what I is it, the F A T F donation? What is that? I I'd, I'd be a happy boy. Uh, the A T F agents with wives and girlfriends. Thirty two eighty three. That that would make me a happy boy. Avocado apologized yet. For implying you lied about having cancer. No, he hasn't. And Couple of days, very... Jesus. Okay, I might have to pick your brain on that at some point. Low of him, especially. Y'all miss the wifey bomb. Yeah, we know all the wifeys were the same person. That was like the least shocking thing. Wait, yeah. Wh when did she say that? Oh, you weren't listening? No. Obviously, like trustworthy and loyal. I want someone who's loving and affectionate, like with their words and physical touch. I want someone who's obsessed with me, like. Mutual obsession is definitely green flag coded for sure. And I want someone who's like weird and funny and quirky and silly because that is very much me. And I uh -huh. want to laugh with you and be weird with you. And I just love that. Like someone with a good sense of humor. Who is your favorite ex? I'm going to say Feline. Is wifey number one the same as wifey number two? Wifey number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are all the same person. Has yeah, we know. This shocked nobody. What I want to know is who the other person was that was there. There was a second person there because there was a woman that was shorter than her that could stand and hide behind her. And then the other one that was taller and broad shouldered that yeah. could not be hidden by standing behind yeah, her. Yeah, there were two people. There were two people that came over. I think one of them was wifey's other partner that they were going to be in the poly relationship with. But then that other one was probably like, no, and just dipped out. Yep. But there were there were never two wifeys. No. Everyone knew there was never two wifeys. I just want to know why she lied about it, which she doesn't tell us. What was the point of lying about it? She that? didn't even apologize that she called people delusional when they said it. Yeah, no. no right. Yeah. She wants an apology from Nick Akato for a thing that he didn't actually say, but she can't be bothered to apologize or explain herself for repeatedly lying over and over and over again. Yep. And just not even that long ago when no. she when she was, was doing like the live ago. stream with destiny just a little bit ago she was like i never lied about them being right, different wife. people oh like, nice life. weird wife fight back kill, kill wife. wife wife gone, wife gone. Think, about think about wife, about wife. regret 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 that's amber that is wife amber. gone <laughs> regret <laughs> uh, we're gonna switch that over yeah, and she never apologized for Cake Gate. But yeah, Nick Akato should apologize for a thing he didn't actually say. Uh, Amber has zero idea what love is or how to be in an equal partnership. It's honestly sad to see her throw herself at the wall over and over and then wonder why she can't keep a girl. It's... Yeah? Yeah. It... It's... The only thing she does to people in relationships is try to financially... Manipulate. Manipulate them into staying. And... With wifey, she couldn't do that because wifey never went and quit her job to live under Amber's rule. I think it's more than that, though. I think she genuinely doesn't know how to be an adult in that way. No, she doesn't. I don't think she has any idea what it's like to have an equal partnership, what it's like to build something with somebody. 
what it's like to have something that might be out of her control. Like part of an equal partnership when you're with somebody and you are building an actual life and you're working towards stuff and you're enjoying that person is in your mind, you know, somewhere that it could go away. Yeah. Like you could fuck up. They could fuck up. Something could ha- could happen. It could go away. Amber will never look at it that way. Everything has to be in her control all of the time. Yep. Yeah. Very true. Avocado, avocado, apologize yet for implying you lied about having cancer. No, he hasn't. And I think that's just very low of him. Especially. Why should he apologize? Yeah. Am- Amber doesn't need to apologize for lying about everything forever. That's fine. He doesn't have to either. Especially because he still says quotes and does things that I do in my videos and his videos. It's just like, do you have a heart? Like at all. Do you have a heart? Won't somebody please think of the Ambies? <laughs> Did she say he quotes me in his videos? That means he doesn't have a heart? What? I, well, I can't he hear that one. He makes fun of me. Clearly, he's heartless and evil. Can we hear that he's one more time? definitely a spawn of Satan for making fun of me on the internet. It's just very low of him, especially because he still says quotes and does things that I do in my videos and his videos. It's just like, do you have a heart? <sighs> Spoonie Nerd, you have a point. She is kind of telling on herself by claiming that Nick was talking about her. He never said her. He never said she lied about cancer. He, she, she saw that and said, oh, he's talking about me lying about cancer. Mm. He never said any of those things in that video. You guys have to realize, I watched your, uh, I watched your video yesterday. A good old narcissism, Lynn. I'm having a sandwich. Ooh, oh, sandwich. It's my favorite food group. Sandwich is good. You don't like sandwich. I like some sandwich. You don't like a tuna melt. Ew, tuna's not supposed to be hot. Yes. No, it's not. Yes. No. You're, you're just wrong. No. Um, yeah, you're just wrong. No. Y- yes. No. That's a good question. Do you have a backup sandwich? Oh, oh I hope you do have It'd a backup sandwich. It'd be different like, if he was just like another YouTuber who just wanted to talk shit. But I did consider him my friend. And Livy, as perceptive as always, tuna melts are hot. So... <laughs> Thank, thank you, Livy, for your input. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I gotta... Amber just said... Nick Akato is not just another YouTuber talking shit about her. She considered him a friend. So she did confide in him about the cancer story, is what she's saying. She confided in him... And he backstabbed her by telling on her, even though he didn't actually say anything about her. She just owned it. She did. She, she just, did. She was like, oh, he just told you I lied she about She just cancer. pulled the FFG, she the really did. foodie beauty she FFG did. thing. She just told on herself real bad right now. <laughs> I still can't get over it. They are hot. Yeah, they, they're but gross. She they're j- disgusting. She just pulled the foodie beauty FFG thing. Yep, she sure did. All, all Nick had to do was make a video with a crab, yeah. and Amber would lose Amber her mind like, like a year Fuck, later. I, I told him I lied about cancer when I thought he was my friend, <laughs> and now he's not being a very good friend. <laughs> he's being a bad friend. And I did talk to him about my cancer privately in text messages, so it's just like for him to do something like that is just really, really wrong. Would I like an apology? Sure. Like, be a good, decent human being. Who- Okay, well, you'll be you... a good, decent human being and actually apologize. You're listing off all of your lies here, just one after another, and not apologizing for any of them, but he should. <laughs> he should apologize for exposing the truth. Okay. I, I lied about the wifeies, and I've lied about my sexual history and all this stuff, but Nick owes me an apology. Nick owes me an apology for telling the truth about me. Who is your favorite reactor in girl world? Definitely Yo Mama. Alex is shook. I feel like oh. we don't really have anyone like that in the community. Someone who's Oh, she likes Yo Mama up. because Yo Mama... Kisses Foodie's ass, and she needs somebody to do that for her. So she's got to keep shouting out your mama. It's like, I love your mama. He's so handsome. I love his videos because he wants, she wants him to make reactions sticking up for her instead of just shunting. Bingo. It's bingo. not going to happen, Amber. You're too boring. Uh, Post a time lapse of the prince here and here. 
a great place to start learning. All right, I'll check it out. Thank you very much, Mew. I appreciate it, buddy. Y you... You're going to get me in trouble because the minute I have the extra money, I'm buying a 3D printer now. Thank you for this, by the oh, way. Oh, lovely. Uh oh Up towards bullies and YouTubers who think that they're doing something good when they're really not. They're just like attacking two individuals. I noticed that a lot of the reaction channels, uh, you can they check don't like phone. to... Okay, I can check my phone. Hold on. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about the other reaction channels, and if they do, it's always like good things, but it's like, y'all, these reaction channels, they're not perfect. They do and say wrong things as well because we are humans. That is just how we're programmed. I mean, we don't have, we're, 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 we are not, Amber, reaction channels are not news reporters. We are just watching things on the internet and talking about what we think about things on the internet. If you do we're wanna... not we're not here to to give you the facts of the situation. If you no. do want to watch me do news reporting though, I have a whole nother channel with that <laughs> stuff on it. Where it's what what does Polly call it? Uh news entertainment. Yes. I think that's a good way to put it. News entertainment. That's over on the Silent Sin channel though. To do things that we shouldn't. But I think the difference is, is that your mama's not afraid to say something while all the other reaction channels are very much scaredy cats for the lack of a better term. Minus all that, I genuinely- Wait, why? What? Yeah, why? Because they don't say, Just... Amber's so pretty. Amber didn't do anything wrong, you guys. Amber never lied. I Whatever don't... she lied about, it, it's okay because look at her sparkly eyes. I don't even think your mama says that. <laughs> I, I don't think anybody says that. No, that's what Amber wants. Then you would be a good reaction channel. Just tell me how pretty my Coachella diamonds look. I only just think that your mama is highly entertaining. I love his life. Do you mind? So your mama could not exist if there weren't reaction channels. You know that, right? Like your mama would have nothing to react to if there weren't reaction channels reacting <laughs> poorly to Amber and Chantel. So what, 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 what would you be watching then, Amber? Susan, your mama made me regarded. <laughs> streams and i watch every single one of them who is the last person that texted you so the last person that texted me was my valentine do you use sex toys with yourself or with partners yes i do and i know some people are going to come for me especially if you've uh, been watching me for about a decade because i remember one time i said like uh -oh. like i said like this was like a decade ago uh -oh. wait a minute hold uh -oh. on before she even goes into this so she made up the story about how Becky supposedly proposed to her with a vibrator and yes. then said something like, I don't know why she would do that. I wouldn't even use those. Like, so what, you do use vibrators? or Because then you were like, ew, a vibrator, ew. So what is it, Amber? That's a good... What is it? That's a good point. That's <laughs> a very good point. <laughs> and also, who asked this? Nobody wanted to know this. I need an adult. I am an Amber adult. Amber is trying to get this girl who she's texting with to be her girlfriend talking about how sexual and how sexy and how desirable she is and this is all fake yeah oh no definitely one time i was like yeah i think you only need sex toys if like your sex life is like super boring girly pop i was just like delusional at the time i'm not you only need sex toys if your sex life is very boring amberlyn reed when and when Becky gave her the so supposed vibrator, that was when they hadn't had sex in five years or whatever. So it's weird that she didn't need a vibrator then when her sex life was super boring. Okay. This, this just, it ain't making the sense, Amber. It just ain't making the sense. Okay. Delusional anymore. A sex toy is amazing. And I've been to that for years now, but I'm just like speaking about it now. What is the last thing you journaled about? So I journaled about a conversation that I will be having. She probably needs one of those long wands. Oh my God. And tapes it to one a of, One of those like foot and a half long ones that plugs into the wall. Those really big fucking wands. And I'm like, no, that's too big. I, I know a girl who likes those. Yeah. <laughs> and we were talking about it. <laughs> Because Missin likes the little ones. I like the little one. I the don't like the one. big fucking giant thing. The big giant thing. You know, it's, it's not a plunger, but this girl, she had the Hitachi branded <laughs> one. And she's like, they're great, but I burnt it out in like six months. And I was like, how the fuck much are you using Way this thing? Way too much. Way <laughs> too much. 
this Friday. It's actually a serious conversation that I'm having with someone. So I journaled a little bit about that and like just how I feel about it and maybe some like talking points that I would like to bring up. Will you show your partner in videos in the future? So this goes for anyone, uh, whether it's a family member, whether it's a partner, whether it's a friend, I will show you, you can be in my videos. You can be in all my videos. You can do whatever you want. Well, uh, how bloody how that was my response. Does a jackhammer. The, the things are basically jackhammers. That's yeah. yeah. How? Not whatever How did want, she do that? I mean. Be all up in my videos. Like I don't care, but it's I imagine she was like like I will never like the Looney Tunes character after they get like bopped with something and they're just like <laughs> and like shaking across the room. That had to have been her. <laughs> I masturbate with a dildo on a stick. <laughs> yeah. Ever ever put someone in my videos that does not want to be in my video, I would love it. Would <laughs> very frustrated lady <laughs> for sure. Uh yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, love it Accurate. if my partner wanted to be part of my YouTube channel. But I understand if they wouldn't. People are brutal. And there's a difference I mean, you between, saw what happened oh, to Chantel when this, she made her husband part of her YouTube channel. <laughs> so unless you want to find out about your next wifey's secret poop fetishes, maybe you should <laughs> keep them off the internet. I, uh, I was looking for some long-form stuff to watch last night. And... I it popped up in my feed. I think after talking about it yesterday, it popped up in my feed. Are you serious? Is coverage of Poopgate? Oh yeah. Oh my fucking god! I was just laughing to myself. Here <laughs> versus like I'm gonna dox you and your family and your dog and your dog's kibbles. Like it's just like people be doxing like what doctors I have. <laughs> that actually goes into the next. Because <laughs> she burned out a tooth rattler. Send me her number. <laughs> Segway, Amberlynn. What really happened? Does Timu have toys? Uh, yes. Yes, they do. Happened during the wait. Is that what she's buying? And no. <laughs> Lost surgery era. Okay. I specifically said repeatedly during that whole era. I will explain later. You guys will see why I'm upset later. I can't tell you now, but I'll tell you later. Later is here, and I'm just gonna do it short and quick and to the point. I could easily do a whole story time, but I'm just not gonna even do that because do I'm, it. I'm do it. Do it. Do it. Tell a story, Amber. Do it. I'm not going to put my energy into this that hardcore because I just don't want to. I did back then. My energy was very much into this back then. I was very <laughs> upset. So let's get into it. So if you guys remember, I came on my YouTube and I said, oh, I can't get weight loss surgery until I don't binge for a whole year. It came out of nowhere. It was confusing. It was weird. It made no sense. But I held on to that and I said, okay. Let's do it. Then I had an appointment with my do dietitian, it. and she said, you're going <laughs> to later come to the surgeon because we need to talk to you about something. And this was before I was even supposed to meet the surgeon. Sorry, I itched right here. So that's why I'm super red. And I just now noticed my skin yeah, be sensitive. So anyways, uh. I was going to meet the surgeon even before I was supposed to. So long story short, hundreds and hundreds of people were emailing my surgeon, finding his Instagram and messaging him. They were contacting my surgeon's office through the phone. And then the doctor said, I won't give you surgery. I don't want your money okay. because people commented on my Instagram. First off, I don't believe this. I, this out of all the things that didn't happen, this one didn't happen the most. No, there, I, I can possibly believe that there was a hater that commented on the doctor's Instagram or, uh, sent them an email saying Amber's a shitty person. I can see that because there are some fucking weirdos, but there are not hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who are going to go out of their way to email some random fucking doctor in Kentucky. It didn't happen. How, let me see how much This money. did not happen. Me, how much money do I have right now? This did not happen. Maybe I, one person, but not hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I bet that $87 in my checking account right now I will donate it to any charity if you can prove that more than seven people. <laughs> it can't. It can't be. I, seven would be a stretch. Five max, maximum. This I just know. This did not happen. Livy, what the hell? Livy's at the one. Doctor said no more monies, minkies, minis. Right, monkey, like the, the doctor is not going to be like, I'm not doing your surgery because someone emailed me and said they don't like you on the internet. They're going to take her twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 and give her the surgery regardless. Oh, God. They don't give a fuck. You offer me $20,000 to ignore a couple thousand people? Man, 
that's a wrap. No, this, <laughs> this did quickly. not happen. This did not happen. This, this, don't check your bank accounts in. That's the fastest way to make you depressed. It was to prove a point. <laughs> but no, this, no, just, just, just no. Nope. Just, just no. Did not happen. Absolutely not. Feral girl said, LOL, a concrete vibrator hooked up to a generator. <laughs> You are a doctor, uh, said. Well, no one's offering me money. Through me- she, she backed out. Oh, 100%. She backed out. Messages. Anyway, Thank you, Feral Girl. That people could contact my surgeon. They were. That you bragged about with some famous television surgeon in the area of Kentucky where you lived. So if people found him, it's your goddamn fault. That is true. Finding it, and they were doing it. So how did people find out who my surgeon was? A reaction channel. A reaction channel. It's because you're all fat phobic sociopaths. Even if this is true, how did that cause you to no longer get the surgery? Would you say she is triggered? Did she think the doctor, maybe the doctor, heard from the haters and started watching reaction channels and now the doctor's a hater and he's going to give me bad surgery, I can't do it? Like, where in her brain did this equal I can't have surgery anymore? This is insane. This is in fucking sane. I owe you guys a couple of bingos before we get too far behind. Would you <laughs> <laughs> grill me a cheese? Uh, did, have you watched Archer? Very little bits. I've heard it in the background. Okay, but you've never. <laughs> I've never actually watched it. No, but we used to put it on the television a long time ago. When Miss Sin and I first started talking, that was the show we would put on when we were. Not busy. watching television. <laughs> we were not watching. <laughs> I think you should watch Archer. It's a very funny show. Yeah, I don't like cartoons. Should I watch Archer? I, it is it is the top tier of adult animation. How did that reaction channel find out who my surgeon was? Because I read maybe two sentences of an email that was sent to me by my surgeon's office. Wait a minute. You, I remember her... Like putting up a picture of an email from her doctor's office. I, don't I remember her this. showing it. Like she was like, this is the letter my doctor wrote me. So what, she showed the letter or the email that her doctor wrote her. So how did someone find this out by the information Amber showed on YouTube? Um, mine and my boyfriend's show was <laughs> Chernobyl. That's profoundly unsexy. <laughs> oh, radioactive disaster. <laughs> Put it in my butt. Uh, this reactor wanted to know so badly who my surgeon was that they faked wanting to get weight loss surgery just so they could get that email back to them. This sounds so fucking pedantic. So they faked wanting... Weight loss. How would faking wanting weight loss surgery? I want weight loss surgery. Are you the doctor that's going to give Amberlyn Reed weight loss surgery? Yes, I am. How did? How would that even work? This. Is this a real thing that happened, or is she making this up? This sounds so made up. I do remember her showing an email. So, so did that? Did the email probably say the name of the doctor's office? Is what I would assume. The reaction channel. In her words, in her head, the reaction channel went to the doctor and said they wanted weight loss surgery. Right. This doesn't make sense. The, this this story does not make sense. Them to confirm who. Some wait, hold on. People are saying it's the narc alert. Okay, so they're saying that the narc alert contact, she's saying the narc alert contacted the doctor and the doctor confirmed that they were her doctor. I don't think the doctor would do that. I don't think you can do that with a current patient. I don't think that is a thing. I, I, maybe I'm misunderstanding what supposedly <laughs> happened here, but this doesn't make any sense. Can you read Weenie's messages before he explodes? <laughs> I'm going to need to see some proof of this because this 100% sounds like it violates HIPAA. And I wouldn't do anything but suit. I oh, keep yes. that thing on me. God damn it, Bobby. They see me selling propane and now they trying to cop. Pretend to be pro- That one has to stay. It's so good. That is really it's good. It's so good. It's so... It's so good. Infrequently hit. 
Now you can't get rid of it. Use this for all your f- first roll of filament. F the glowies. Oh, thank you, Dirt Merchant. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. A- after the project's done, I'll save up for a 3D Scroll printer. Scroll up the chat. We need posted a big comment about it. Susan says, read it. Okay. So let's see. Uh, here we go. Funny enough, Narc and Geese are no longer friends. Narc, okay, I think this is not the comment. Um... Okay. okay, the narc alert and kicking geese. Amber showed a packet of paper that she said was paperwork she had to fill out, and it showed the logo of the hospital of them. In the narc alert live stream with kicking geese, someone commented the name of the hospital surgeon, and narc read out the name. Narc did sign up for more information from the weight loss clinic because narc wanted proof of what the hospital says versus what Amber says. Also, narc signed up for that same class Amber was going to take in 2023, but Amber only talked about the class once. Narc actively takes things IRL because Narc likes receipts and likes to prove Amber wrong. Narc doesn't really have personal life and is chronically online. Um, funny, they're no longer friends. Narc wanted to control her opinions. Okay, so Amber showed the, the thing from the hospital. Narc alert then contacted the hospital to find out if they do weight loss surgery there to verify that this was the right place. Is what it makes. This, this what sounds it seems like like a whole lot of people with nothing to do. But what it does seem like is Amber is the one who showed with yes. where the hospital and doctor was. Yeah. Narc alert didn't like randomly call every doctor's office in Kentucky. Like, are you treating Amber Lynn? Amber Lynn showed where the doctor was, and and Narc alert confirmed yes, this is a weight loss doctor. I sent a video explaining it to your phone. So, all right, I'll watch it later. The country Hank Hill covers <laughs> legitimately sounded good. It didn't it though. Okay. I'll walk around my house like, God damn it, Bobby. I keep that thing on me. How are they trying to stop me? What? Who my weight loss surgeon was. And once they confirmed who my weight loss surgeon was, what did they do? They doxed him. They said, this is Amber Lynn's surgeon. This is who he is. Blah, 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 blah. Well, my surgeon was Dr. Smith. Um, the same surgeon who did Tammy Slayton surgery. I have met him. He is wonderful. He was understanding. So Jasmine, that's a fact. So when I met him and we had that meeting, I explained to him everything. He explained to me the type of messages and things that he was receiving. It was people. The, the big old monster. Saying how I binged and I lie, I lie, I lie. So not only was I fighting for myself to get weight loss surgery, but I was fighting against hundreds of people because hundreds. of a careless reaction channel. Hundreds. I was, I was hurt because it's like, react to me all day. Go for it. I really don't care at this point. But stop getting in the fucking way of my life. Okay, so as the, far so as the going... doctor told her no because haters emailed them. I don't believe this. Not I don't only... believe the doctor would tell her no because some haters on the internet said Amber's a lie. Okay, there's layers like an onion to yeah. this. You cannot dox a public business. You cannot dox a public doctor. No, I that's do true. not that's think that's not doxing. I do not think he was getting hundreds and hundreds of messages. I think Amber backed out of it. Mm-hmm. But I also think that going IRL on people on the internet is very weird. Yeah, it is very weird, but it's not doxing. It is not doxing. It's, 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 he's a, he was a famous weight loss surgeon. You, you can't dox someone who's already famous. That's uh, Dr. Smith, the famous weight loss surgeon. You can't dox that person. They're already out as a famous weight loss surgeon. Yeah, the whole doxing and like it, harassment, that yeah. didn't happen. The 100% did, did that did not happen. Did she give out his home address and home phone number and then they started showing up at his house? No, so it wasn't doxing. But, but that Amber acts like that somehow prevented her from being able to get surgery makes no sense. No, that, that whole part didn't happen. No. Like, if she would have just said, hey, like you, famous doctor, I'm also a famous YouTuber. And he would have said, oh, okay. Yeah, good for you. You can still get your surgery, because I can't, I can't just believe a random email from a stranger on the internet that said Amber ate a candy bar when yeah. Amber's here and doing her appointments and doing her check-ins and doing all the things she needs to do to follow my program. I, I'm not going to be like, your surgery's canceled because a, an email said you ate candy. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, even uh, as Beaned Up <laughs> said, Tammy and Amy could have told him that she's a big fucking liar and most likely isn't doing anything. Either way, I don't think... If Amber really wanted the surgery, she could have continued to get the surgery. Oh, yeah. She could have went to a different doctor. She could have she put in the have, effort. She could have done literally anything. 
and she could have gotten the surgery. She said, the doctor said, oh, somebody emailed me, and she was like, oh, never mind. There's a good excuse. I'm not doing it anymore. That's that's what it looks like. Yeah, not buying any of it. This is not a valid excuse for not getting weight loss surgery. While I do think it's weird that people go IRL. Yeah, don't do that. I think it's even more weird to blame them because you couldn't get weight loss surgery. Yes. Like you got in the way of my life. Imagine being a famous doctor on the television Mm -hmm. and then going, well, I got an email, so I'm not going to take your $20,000. Thank you very much. This didn't happen. No. This didn't happen. The doctor may have gotten an email, sure, but the doctor's not going to believe a random anonymous email over yeah. the patient that they've been seeing for months. From, it's not. It's not going to work it, like that. Email from Amber Lynn's a fat liar at gmail.com. Amber's been eating candy. Well, I yeah. can't do it. Yeah. No. It doesn't work like that. So once the And then act hurt. like, oh, they did some reaction channel doxed my doctor. <clears throat> you said it was a famous weight loss surgeon. You showed the pamphlets from the hospital that you were going to. You showed the email from the doctor's office that you were going to. On your public video. <laughs> is this Amber Lynn Reed? Heard about all this and heard my side of the story. That is when things were changed. And he was like, you know what? A year is way too long. He explained to me that they've never been in this type of situation where like someone who was well known gets doxxed and now he's receiving all of these messages and calls. Bull. And, okay, shit. he may have never been in that situation, but did he cancel your surgery because of it? Is that what you're going to say? Because I highly doubt that. Highly like, doubt. Not- not only like was that not fair to me, but it wasn't Jeez, weenie. fair to them as professionals. Like they had to deal with all of these messages. That's not fair to them. As I speak on this, I also want to thank Zachary Michael because he knew about all of this. I actually told him in private. Um, I didn't give him like the rundown. I didn't give him every tiny detail, but he knew. What does, what does Zachary Michael? I, I'll let her figure it out. Uh, Zachary Michael just uploaded a video about this too. Oh, I don't really watch his channel, but I might have to check it out. Vegas rules. Shelly needs five bingos. We did him. Knew who my surgeon was. I went back to try to find the DMs, but I don't know. A lot of DMs were deleted. I don't know if it was because of him or because I had him blocked at one point. It's a mess. I do be blocking. I'm not going to lie, but just out of respect, I'm not going to share our DMs because I feel like that's low life. Um, I know reaction channels love to share DMs. It's like their go-to. It's like, oh, Amberlynn messaged me. Let me show you. It's like for real now. Come on. But yeah, Zachary. Oh, so she is just for some reason right now is just throwing shade at Zachary Michael or, or trying to make him look bad by saying, oh, well, I was DMing with Zachary Michael and he had the tea, but he didn't tell you guys. What the That's fuck what is she's he supposed doing right to now. do? Yeah, he's not. Obviously, he's not going to tell if it was something like, I'm going to tell you this, but don't tell anybody. Of course, he's not going to, because then she would come out and be like, oh, he's a shitty person for telling. But now she's trying to be like, well, see, everything Zachary Michael tells you is a lie because he knew and he lied. That's that's what she's doing right now. This is why I don't get involved with shit. No. Uh Uh-uh. I I stick to my, like, five people. Right. Because I don't want... This is wild. This is, yeah. She had no reason to come out and say this. No. Oh, I I told Zachary Michael everything and he didn't tell you. (laughs) <laughs> all the other no reaction point. channels would tell you if I was DMing them secrets, but he didn't tell you. There is no point. Ah, uh, weird. Weird, weird, weird. Michael knew, and he didn't say a word. He knew, and he didn't say a word. Don't trust anything he tells you from now on. That's what she's doing. That, that, is, that is exactly what she's doing right here. And in his reactions, he acted like he had no idea. Uh... And I feel like a lot of- Is it his place to act like he has an idea? If yeah. I was somehow privy to this information. Right. Like, I, I would be like, why the fuck is Amber telling me this? Yeah. No, I'm not going to come out. Because I would feel like she's just setting me up. Yeah. She wants me to say it, and mm-hmm. then I'm going to look like a fucking asshole. So I would just also keep my mouth shut and be yeah. like, yeah, no, I, I don't even believe what you're telling me. I feel like you're probably lying. I wouldn't. And what she told, the tea that she told him was that- Haters found out who my doctor was and emailed him. Okay. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, all right. And a lot of people might um, ask this. No, that's not the reason why I didn't end up getting weight loss surgery because I was still going through with it. Like, Dr. Smith is so freaking amazing. Like, he was so. Okay. So, this is the whole reason. She starts this story with here's why I didn't get weight loss surgery. Blah, 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 for 10 minutes. And then 
But no, I was still going through with it then. This this doesn't stop me from... So what the fuck was the point of any of this? Primetime Powers, this was Amy Slayton's doctor. He can't handle a hater. <laughs> that too. He's never heard from haters before, but he was a Amy Slayton's doctor. Okay. Last. This is all very weird, and these are very good pretzels. Mm -hmm. Sweet, such a gentleman. He was rooting for me through and through. Like, I wish more than anything, if I ever want weight loss surgery again, that he will be the surgeon. Because he didn't Why want didn't it the first you time. Do it? So he didn't tell you no because he got scared of the haters. You were still on track to go through with it. He said, a year is too long. We're going to do this sooner than that. And you were like, I can't. Why? Okay. People are giving me the timestamp for Zachary Michael's response. Okay, let's see it. Let's take a look. Uh, it is at 102. What is it? Hey, everybody. It 10202. Yes. They, well, he's got new hair. They they have changed a bit. He was so rude. And even when she was rude as hell to me, I still kept this for her. I still kept this secret for her because I didn't want people fucking meddling with her life. The hair. Oh. It's 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 the kid's boyfriend from down the street. Mm. Ooh, she got it? heated saying that these messages are deleted. If anything, I'm wondering, they might be deleted because she blocked me several times, but they're all here for me. They're all here. They're, they're all. Hold on. Hold that back for a second. But they're There's all here for me. But for, who, the, who even talks like this? I talk to you more than anything, and you're lucky to get three sentences. That's true. That's a, that's a lot of texting. I would have been like, please stop talking to me, girl. I'm so done. I don't care. So haters message the doctor. whoop de doo Okay, bye, Amber. And anytime I get a long message, I have that, I'm sorry this happened for you, or very happy. You know, there are so many times where I will message you about things. <laughs> And then later, you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I'm like, we had a whole conversation in the text message. And clearly, you just reply, okay, or whatever. And you don't read what I say to you. <laughs> yeah, I, it's been fun hanging out. My sandwich is delicious. I'm about to head outside with the kid while there's still some light. All right, man, you have a good one. Have a good day. Have fun playing with the little one. Give me a couple more of them. Okay, I'll take the bag, then. Don't eat all of them. Aw. Here. <laughs> Here. They're all Yeah, if I wanted to talk to chat GPT, I would go to the chat. At, at texting. Stop closing it. If you want to have long form conversations like that, motherfucker, call me. Yeah. Texting is for short bursts of information to be shared immediately or to just chat. If I, I don't want to have a conversation over text if I can avoid it. Meet me at the bar. Give me a call. <laughs> I'm not having an in-depth heart-to-heart -heart over text messages with you. I just talk text, so my text messages to you are super long. I, and half the time they don't make any they're sense. They're just like, what? <laughs> All here, including the time that she said, okay, now that's fucking shitty, Zach. <laughs> she said, okay, that's fucking shitty, Zach. We had a personal discussion on why I don't want people knowing who my surgeon is. Okay, so we had two separate conversations. Sin just hits auto-generated text. <laughs> well, it, I, I'm either... What are you doing? What's going on? What you doing? That kind of texter? Mm. Or I'm like... Pick up wood filler. Crackhead stole tools. <laughs> <laughs> Very brief. <laughs> one of the two. The first one happened because I had, like, briefly referenced Dr. Smith in a video, okay? I briefly... I do say what you do. doing. Reference him because yeah, she was talking about how she was surprised that her doctor had such low um, requirements for weight loss for her. Because I think I think she said at one point she only had to lose like one pound. Yeah, Assange does not look great right now. A week or something like that. And I said, I don't know why she's acting so surprised. I know she watches the 1000 pound sisters and Dr. Smith on that show is constantly like giving them very low ballpark uh, goals for weight loss. And he he's always been like that. And she took that to be me doxing her. That's the original message she sent me. Cause she was like, oh. doxing is it okay? I don't know why you would even bring him up. And I was like, he's not a private person. He's a famous doctor. 
It's not like he's some family physician from Nowheresville, Kentucky that literally no one's ever heard of and you had to find his office by walking down the street. He's a famous fucking doctor. You can't dox him. Jesus. Girly Pop, I didn't even know that he was your surgeon until you told me in this conversation. Um, and then I was very kind to her then, and I said, I did bring it up. This is why I brought him up. I promise that, like, I'm not going to say anything about him unless you say something about him on this channel. And then there was a second conversation, and that's where she, she DM'd me and said, that's fucking shitty, Zach. I can't believe that you would, you would dox me and expose me. And that's because in one of her videos, I pointed out that she was lying about having a female surgeon, about having to travel overnight to get to her surgeons. And then she she claimed that I was doxing her and she was actually quite upset with me. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and read so every- Amber doesn't know what doxing means. That's what, what I'm taking from out. this. Yeah. It, yes, Amber is fucking- in, She's just trying to rattle cages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's trying to make herself seem like a victim. And Zach- from what I can follow, has come back with the receipts going, no, this is not yeah. how it happened. Right. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm calling a big X on this. Yep. This is wild. It's fucking hurting my brain. It, this is, have you ever been, uh, it's like watching, it's like watching the most interesting paint dry. Yeah. Like, I don't give a shit what Amber's saying about this, but I'm very interested in the response to it. That, yeah. Single message, but that's a very different. Yeah. Uh, Zach uses uh, uh, the, the they thems. Mm. Tone than this, like, thank you, Zachary Michael. But you know what? I'll take the thank you. I'll take it because I really did. I really did know about it this whole time. And I really was respecting your privacy. So you're fucking welcome. Despite these rude ass messages you sent me. Oh, I'm heated. <laughs> See, this is why you just don't. Don't get involved. Yeah. You just don't bother. Yeah, just block Amber. I am heated. <laughs> I'm so heated. Oh, God, it's not even that serious. She just thanked me for keeping... Zach is turning very red. ...keeping her mm. secret, but damn. Damn if she wasn't rude as hell to me in a DM. She Lots was rude as hell in the DM. It's a mess. I do be... Zach, it's Zach. I would have Amber been tempted rude? to out her right then. Like, oh, you're going to talk to me like this in the DM? Okay, here's the tea. Amber's being an asshole. As a messy queer, I can say we love drama. Is is that what is you're just in it for the drama? Fair enough. Blocked in. I'm not she does. Just out of respect, I'm not going to share our DMs because I feel like that's low life. Um, well, you said how are you going to share our DMs? You just said they were deleted. Action channels love to share DMs. It's like they're. Listen, it's like, I, oh, Amber, like, she, message me. Let me show you. It's like, she did. She did ask me not to share like all of them. So I'm not. I'm not going to go give a rundown. Like it's fun. I think sharing DMs is an incredibly low thing to do. Yeah, it's stupid. You're having a private conversation with somebody, and unless they are lying about what you said and won't retract the lie, there's literally no point in ever sharing DMs. Yeah. That I, I can't think of any time. Mm -mm. Bye. Unless it was something funny, like the bell text. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, I just wanted to give you the tone of one of them to let you know how different the tone was from the thank you. I had, I had way more DMs about that situation than what I showed you, because she was so bad at me for doxing her. I'm like, girl, fucking please. Oh my god. For real now, come on. But yeah, Zachary Michael knew, and he didn't say a word. And in his reactions, he acted like he had no idea. Uh. Did she expect Zachary to start interchannel drama with these other channels to stick up for her? I think she wanted them to come out, spill the tea, make a big thing about it so she could have a drama for views. I think that's what she thought would happen. Very weird. Why would she expect Zachary to do that? I don't know, but it seems and like that's I feel what like a lot of people might. No, no, what was that? Now what was that? Now what the fuck was that? Was was she now trying to make it sound like I'm being fake? 
Because mm-hmm. she, yes, that's exactly what she did. She's trying to discredit you. Yep. She did, in fact, get mad at me for calling out that she was lying about the situation. She did, in fact, because she was like, "Well, you knew that I was lying about it, so it's unfair for you to for you to call me out for lying about it." Was essentially what she said to me. So Amber's apparently, July Street Cheese level. <laughs> Amber likes to. We, we've learned in this video. That Amber likes to message other YouTubers like Nick Ocado or Zachary, Zachary Microhill and, and all and the confess, other people confess lying about things and want them to keep her secrets and then get mad if if they don't. Mm-hmm. That's what we've learned. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was doing my best to toe the line. So if you're trying to make it out like I'm I'm a bad person for not exposing you right now. <sighs> My my blood is boiling. You, you look like this. you need a No, that's not the reason why I didn't end up getting weight loss surgery because I was still going through with it. Like Dr. Smith is so freaking amazing. Like he was so sweet, such a gentleman. Uh-huh. He was I'm sure he was me through and through. Like I wish more than anything if I ever want weight loss surgery again that he will be the, the surgeon because it's just like he... Again, this was there this had nothing to do with her canceling her weight loss surgery. No. So this whole story was for nothing. Yep. It is incredible. I ultimately did not get weight loss surgery because I didn't feel ready. I I didn't. Mm. I genuinely didn't. I didn't. That's my question. <clears throat> when you, why does anybody even bother wasting their personal time yeah. DMing Amberlyn Reed? Like uh-uh. there is. This is work. Yeah. I I enjoy it. I love what I do. I love this job. But at the end of the day, this is work and this is hanging out with my wife watching shit on the internet. I'm not spending my free time DMing Amberlyn Reed. No. Absolutely not. 100% no. Nope. I didn't feel like I had the support that I needed because me and my ex, my now ex, we were just going through a lot at the time. Oh, it's, it's wifey's fault. Wifey wasn't supportive oh. enough. Oh, Amber and... just didn't want to, really, but Wifey wasn't... Sp- wifey would probably still be there if Amber would have gotten surgery. Probably. I think Wifey was there for two years and was hearing all about how Amber was going to change and going to be a person that could actually go outside and do things with her. And one day, when she got her weight loss surgery, and then Amber said, oh, but I don't really feel like it. Would and you... Wifey was like, okay, I'm done. I'm not sitting around the house with you for another 20 years. I'm out. Would you read DMs with Chantel? Fucking no. <laughs> I, my whole goal, my biggest goal for this channel is to be as hands off with the entertainment as I possibly can be. Yeah. I don't want to talk to him. Mm-mm. I would be perfectly happy. Well, we, I know they both know I exist, which I'm already displeased about, but I would be perfectly fine if they never knew about this. Right. At all. No, that would be preferable. And- it was super expensive, like $35,000. Like, it was just like a lot of different things. Didn't she were... say that the wifey stuff had nothing to do with it? Maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah, now all of a sudden it's wifey's fault. It's it's Becky's, Zachary's, wifey's, narc alerts, and the doctor's fault. Yep, not Causing Amber's though. Do- That's why the stream is called Avoiding Responsibility or something like that. <laughs> like, this is not the right choice right now. So the next question kind of- Exactly, Mad Yikes on Bikes. We ain't getting taken down again, goddammit. Nope. With the Streamlabs link, I don't know how it works, but thank you. And it goes into what we were just talking about. Is weight loss surgery something you will try again? But right I'm now, so mad. I'm ready for this no, video to be done. <laughs> no. I really don't know, but right now that's not like sure. in the cards for me, honestly. So I'd... All right, I think we got, I think we got that squared away. Because it's just like he is incredible. I ultimately did not get weight loss surgery because I didn't feel ready. I I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so all of that was just for nothing. Just, just for nothing, and but, then we're just gonna blame Wifey in a minute for some reason. That's true, Maddie. I guess on bikes, money does keep the train rolling. Man, I I cannot wait. To show you guys this project when it's done, I think you're gonna love it. Genuinely didn't. I didn't feel like I had the support that I needed because me and my ex, my now ex, we were just going through a lot at the time, and it was super expensive, like thirty-five thousand dollars. Like it was just like a lot of different things. Thirty-five grand? Where the fuck did that come from? Maybe wifey. Because remember, at the beginning, she was like, "Wifey's gonna help me pay for it." Maybe wifey said, well, actually, no, I'm not going to pay half of 35 grand. And Amber was expecting her to. 
I feel like Amber, with her YouTube, if she had gotten the surgery and vlogged it all and the recovery and all the blah, 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 she probably could have written a portion of it off of her A portion, Texas. yeah. She could have. Uh, first rule of reporting on lol cows, observe and report only. You got to do it like those National Geographic reporters. <laughs> yeah. Like if a kid's getting eaten by a vulture, they're not allowed to step in or do anything. Mm -hmm. That's how I live my life doing this. Yep. And that's true, Livy. I also thought it was 21K. That is what she said originally. Mine was about 3500 with insurance. Yeah, she doesn't have insurance. Or she didn't have insurance that would cover it. Did you? Which is hard to believe. You would think if her insurance didn't cover it, she would just find a different insurance that did. Full on David Attenborough. Just 100%. She just does not want weight loss surgery. Causing me to be like, this is not the right choice right now. So the next question kind of goes into what we were just talking about. Is weight loss surgery something you will try again? So right now, the answer is no. But will it always be no? I really don't know. But right now, that's not like in the cards for me, honestly. So the last question is, what's your... No, she doesn't need weight loss surgery. She lost five pounds, and now she's under 500, so she's fine. Yeah. Totally. A full Doesn't need outcome. weight loss surgery anymore. Feel sexual fantasy. Time Doing oh, it all on her own. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. In the cards for me, honestly. So the last question is, what's your ideal sexual fantasy? These are all questions for I need a new target driver. That's what these questions are for. I am a very sexual woman. I want to play sex toys with you. Please come move in and drive me to Target. That's what this is. <laughs> Jesus, Amber, this is gross. You're asking yourself these. No one is asking her five different sex sex questions. Sex gens. Nobody's asking you five sex gens. You are doing this because you need a Target driver, and it's gross. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need a ridosexual, right? That's what Amber is. She's uber sexual. <laughs> uh, put my panties. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. So the last question is, what's your ideal sexual fantasy? Tie me up. Uh, put my panties in my mouth. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> she wants her own panties in her mouth. What? Uh, isn't it supposed to be the other way? Yeah, it's supposed to be the other way. Amber, you okay. can't, can you put your hands behind your back to be tied up? What, what is, is they're going to just like four feet of rope in between the hands like they do with the triple handcuffs on cops? As somebody who is learning Shibari. I, I see your rope right there, honey. As someone who is learning Shibari, there, there's not you, enough rope. You would need a 90 foot rope to that pull guy this used off. 60 on Sunday. Yeah, you would need. You would need like 400 feet of rope. You would need at least 120 foot. No more than that. No, just to get one way around, yeah. Well, I mean, one way around, yeah. Like one, one tie. Yeah. Because just that top usually, tie was 60 feet of rope. Yeah, usually you do quadruple what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, a lot of rope. You need, you need, you some need a whole big, big ropes. Uh, whole big duffel bag full of rope. I've been doing, this is 30 foot, and I can get a pretty good oh, chest. Do you have more than this? Yes. I can do 30 foot, and I can get a pretty good chest harness with this, but one pass around through it. Not the double, not anything fancy, just one pass. I have an extra 30 feet behind me that I can meld together, and then I can get a full chest harness. Any more than that? You're not doing that. I have uh, 390 more. at the studio. Okay, well, I'm bringing those next week. Whatever you want to me, because I'm tied up. So there's nothing I can do about it. Anyways, you guys, this was a that, long... That is not how that works. But okay. Q&A, like, we're... Oh my god, it's literally... <laughs> what is the point of tying someone up who can't get away already? <laughs> <laughs> Amber was gonna run, and then you tied her up. <laughs> you do whatever you want, leave. <laughs> <laughs> been an hour for me i have to edit this down like crazy that was a fun hour i thoroughly enjoyed this q a i just wanted to give you guys something a little more substance i feel like this had substance or at least i hope so uh to me it did i love you guys i have a lot of editing to do now but i will see you guys in my next video bye yeah Take that's true you have to be in relatively good shape and tied up to bear properly yeah that's true yeah there is uh there's some stuff to it uh you, you can you can handle it pretty well
I'm yeah. not I'm not like suspending you or tying you up. I'm just working on the harnesses, but you you got the gist of it. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it. We're done. We went overtime. The rope Probably is like for the fridge hour. so Amber won't get in. Oh my god. <laughs>